Triple K Productions, I am back with you in Presona Studio 1-4, back with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about getting the mids just right, okay? Mixing mids. And the reason why I broke it down this way, because we all like to get highs, we all like to get the lows right, and we all definitely, definitely like to get our mids sitting just right, that way we sit right inside the beat. And the whole entire mix sounds full, and you don't hear nothing, no flaws, all right? So, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I go to give you some more knowledge. Also, thumbs up, comments, help. DoubleKBeats.com. Find your templates, your mixing prices once you fill out the form, and all that good stuff with coupons, all right? So, let's jump into it. Uh... Like I said, I talked about the highs, I talked about the lows. This is the mids and how we can achieve these mids. Uh, let's jump back over to the cleaning stage. And all these plugins come from the cleaning stage. And when we want to achieve the mids, this is one way to do it. So if we play it, things you do again, you know, my latest song. So I keep playing it for y'all. Go listen to it. So we'll click on that. Baby, you're so right. Come on. Oh, we'll undo that. And then we'll Baby, you're so right. Come on. You know you could have been my left side. I'm holding you so tight. You know you could have been the coastal ride. The way you stole my heart. You know you could have been the crew. Like you. All right. So. One way to achieve it, and the reason why I have mo all these plugins up is because you gotta achieve it by compression, you gotta achieve it by EQs, and then a little bit of harmonics. I, I think this is what I call these plugins down here, some harmonics. Don't uh, quote me on that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that's what I call it. But a little bit of that, you know, a little bit of different just to pop those mids out, all right? And one way to achieve it first is to mix it record in mono all right so you gotta have mono tracks so when we looking over here we we'll take that auto tune off you know pretty looking pretty up there we mix the mono all right so we gotta have Baby, that yes, mono, so mono field so we can get the mids to sit just right inside a stereo track so if we have mono straight down the left left chain but you hit out the right straight down the left you record it in one microphone and then you get that right side by you know bouncing it down and stuff like that so you hear it out of both but it's straight down the middle and we ain't messing with the mids all right so mono so we can sit inside a two track or stems whatever it is still two track stuff all right so reason why you're seeing these you got to have compression so we take out all them lows, not all of them, just some of them. Take out a little bit of them highs, you know, dip that down. Take out some of them that nastiness going on. Now we messing with the mid-range. So we, we took out some by the 100. We messing with a little bit of the mid-range. And then we in the highs right here. All right? So, boom, take that out. Messing with, take out some more lows. We messing with the highs right here in the mid. So from two all the way to about, you know, 5K. We in the mid range, and then up from there we get to the high part. All right, so I like to break it down like that for myself. So in the lows right here, you know, lows. And the lows is 100 down, two up. We messing with the mid range, and I like to tweak it a little bit. Baby, so so I get the right, right. The right feel. So come back with the C4. Where you can mess with the multi band. So you messing with just the mids, alright? You can mess with the lows, the mids, the 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 uh, mids, the highs and the you know, the high high, the Q, whatever they want to call it over here. Alright? So if you break it down, like from one hundred, boom, one hundred and twenty, then you get to two fifty, you get all the way to four K, same, same mids, and then you get to the last, the highs, alright? So if we solo, oh, we look at Baby, you're so right. You know you do the beat be my left side. You get the, the mid, the telephone effect area right here, nastiness. 
You get that area. Baby, so wrong. Come on. And then you get the highs, they call it in here. I still call it Miss to highs, you know. Baby, you're so wrong. You know you could have been my left side. And then you get the high. Baby, you're so wrong. Okay. So we messing with just the mids, all right? When you clean enough vocals, we making sure our mids sitting just right because the mids is what's going to get you right there inside that pocket of the beat, all right? Mids, mids, mono, mids, all right? And then the highs, just to give some shimmer on certain tracks. And sometimes you want, uh, like on a deep song, you want like a deep, you know, Kendrick Lamar type beat, you know, that stuff like that. We want a little bit of deep deepness back in there and stuff like that. It's just depending on the song, all right? We wanted that popness going on. Baby, so, so this plugin is gold. I did a tutorial just on this plugin and just on this plugin. These two is going to give you the mids just right all the time, as long as you know how to use it, all right? So if we mess with it, I put 16 k to 4k the 1k is where you get to the mid part all right? Baby, you're so, so five on down it's a little but bossiness but the 250 is what's set right with my vocals so i even got 3dp going on with that because that brings out a lot of the mids inside these vocals all right so most definitely if I solo it out. Baby, you're so right. And I turn up that 250. Baby, you're so right. Come on. Come you know on. you could have been my left side. That's some good mids right there, okay? Some good low-end mids, you know, between that two. That's good for me, all right? And I find that be the, be the 250 right on this plugin, on this plugin, find it to be a great sweet spot, all right? So I tweak it depending on the song. If it don't need all that mid or hard, low end, and I don't put it too drastic, okay? And, but far as up, I use them highs just to my events, all right? Great EQ, messing with mids, with the mid frequency. Because mids, you got you to gotta, you gotta find that frequency, all right? You got to find that with your EQs and make sure you EQing things out. That's why I have multiple EQs. If you look here, we'll bring the EQ up. That's one. This is another one. That that cell chain right here is another one. So that's boom right there. Then we got this one. <laughs> and then we got this one. Which, you know, that, that mess with the uh it's not necessarily EQ, that's some harmonics. I don't care what y'all say. And then we got that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Alright. Five of them. And then we got the uh, VMR I showed y'all earlier. That's this is another uh, high and thickness, and this the vocal popper. I did a uh, tutorial on this too. I mean, it's just bringing the vocal baby, you're right. so right. Yeah. Come on, Come you on. know you could have been my left side. All right, that's why I EQ as much as I EQ. All right, because I'm trying to. Already recording in mono, but I'm also trying to get the mids to sit just right inside the pocket of the instrumental. Okay, it don't matter what you're mixing in, you're only trying to achieve one goal, and that's the final mix. All right, final mix. So, messing with the mids, multiple EQs, I say on my preference, and then backdoor, you gotta have the compressor to boost the mids up. So, as far as my mids, I EQ, take out, take out, subtract, you know do my subtraction that way I find the right mids and then I start adding the eyes in and the lows like I showed you in the other tutorials just to make sure everything sounds cohesive all right so after I do that I come back on the chain the, the track itself and then make sure I don't have no noise floor add a little bit of sheen back in there to the vocals with the apex I got it on the track itself too more EQ, <laughs> just to make sure that mid and them highs just sitting right, but mainly the mids right in this area, okay? Some good sweetness. And then our Vox, just to push the vocals back up front and the DS to make sure my my highs ain't too, my T's ain't, you know, too harsh for the ears for the listeners, all right? That's my way of mixing the mids inside any track, all right?
any track. Cleaning, when you go to cleaning up the phase, you making sure your mid and your mono tracks are sitting just right, all right? No doubt, and that will always get you a good mix. And the rest is comes the sweetness, you know, afterwards. The reverbs, the delays, you know, all, all, all of it. It's just sweetness afterwards on the track. I'm trying to achieve one goal, and that's the final mix, all right? Uh, so you don't have to add all this if you don't want to. It could just be your clean mix. You trying to be present. You trying to be heard. And that's what it is, baby. So, Double K Beats, Double K Productions. Thank you for tuning in to this one. Be back with some more. You know how we do it. Subscribe to the channel, DoubleKBeats.com. Link in the description below. Holla.